What's up guys? How you guys doing today? Not too bad of a day in New Jersey. The sun is shining. It is pretty cold out though. Right now, I'm waiting for Ant to come. We're gonna be heading out to Walgreens and heading to the mall, do a couple errands. Ant's pretty disappointed right now. I'm gonna show you guys in a second when he gets out here, but you guys remember the one day last week we went to the mall and ended up getting Eagles jerseys. Well, Ant's jersey is like falling apart. I'll show you guys in just a sec, but look at this. Dude, this yard is just completely fucked. And this is definitely 100% from Lance. Because what he does is he gets over into the yard, ends up catching like these lumps of grass, so his tires just spin, and now we got these huge ruts in the yard. It's like leaking everywhere. Ant, you got the jersey? Yeah, bro. Let's see it. Yo, fuck Models. What is this Look shit? at this. The, this is what I was talking about, guys. The Super Bowl stitching that is like... before I even wore it once. Yeah, and it's not even stitching. Like, yeah. what, what? what is this? Like, iron on, like, heat patch or something? Yeah. It's falling off, so we're headed to the store right now to see if he can return it. Decided to take uh, Ant's M6 today. I mean, this thing is just pushing, like, 650 horsepower, and, uh, you know, he's always got to stay whipping the foreign. Right, Ant? We always got to whip the foreign. Hell yeah. Just came over to Walgreens. What did we need to get here? You said fucking hair Walmart gel. is like sold out of your yeah. hair gel, so we had to come Walmart over to Walgreens. Is sold out of Axe hair gel every time I go. Hey, no free brand deals. Uh, just just hair gel, just not hair not gel. Axe hair gel. Yo, so what if they don't have it here, then what? I don't know. I'm screwed. Damn. Honestly, I'm really tempted to just buy everything. Because Dude, they're ten dollars a piece. You're about to spend Are forty dollars really? on hair gel. Yeah, no, look. I'm, not. I'm just gonna get two. Nine forty nine. I'll go to Walmart. This will be empty, 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 empty. It'll have like one. Well, at least you got two of them. Oh, it's good just... to go. Ant was just saying that he thinks the reason why Walgreens isn't sold out of the Axe is because you can literally drive like a minute down the road and get it for three dollars cheaper. Yeah, it was fifty percent cheaper. Like it's sick. Yeah, that's fucking crazy. They got this huge thing at the mall that says Go Eagles. Yo, I still. I can't believe we won the fucking Super, Super Bowl, Bowl, dude. First time It's ever. like, I, I'm just, I'm still in shock. It doesn't think, even yeah. seem real. I don't understand, like, the severity of us winning our first Super Bowl. It's insane. It's like still being talked about everywhere. People, everyone's still getting ego shit. Dude, we missed the fucking parade today. I know. That sucks. That, that was hell. I heard it looked like it was insane. like a fucking yeah, zoo. Literally insane. All the Foles jerseys are gone besides, like, the little boys ones right here. And uh, of course, I was able to get my hands on a Foles jersey. I knew they were gonna sell out, dude. I knew it, and he got us the win in the Super Bowl, boy. So Models didn't have any other no medium, medium jerseys, no, like not XL, one. Three XL, that's yeah, it. not one medium jersey. So what they told him that he can do is they could, he could probably just take like an iron and go from the back to get the glue to stick because right. they were saying they probably rushed so fast to get these printed. That's what happened. But they just gave you a fat ass discount. Fifty percent. Fifty percent. So you just got sixty bucks back, and then I ended up picking up two Super Bowl champ shirts, one for me and one for Rachel. And now I think we're gonna try grabbing some food Let's, in the I'm mall starved. here. I'm I'm so hungry. I'll eat your booty right now. I'll right, eat your booty. All right, yeah. Damn, your booty looking hella good though. Nice. Hey, damn, looking like a whole snack. <laughs> Not even a half, a whole damn, snack. Are you gonna make me blush in the middle of the mall? Sorry. I just got home from the mall. Shit, didn't want to talk so loud. Rachel's trying to rest because she doesn't feel good. But I just got a phone call. Some really really good news. This weekend we are gonna be having a restock for a ton of stuff on Elevated Dreams, guys. If you have not got your hands on something it sells out like I, I it's crazy I know it's like mind-blowing that it actually sells out so hurry up head over to elevated dreams link in the top of the description and try getting your hands on something before it is completely gone again I can't stress this enough because so many of you guys have been asking for a restock and here it is so click the link in the description head over and go get something before it's gone guys I just ran over to the PO box had a few letters to pick up today it wasn't really the main reason why I came over here the main reason was because I had to fax two papers over to my lien holders for the titles of my car so they could get those sent over to the DMV for me. So I got those sent out and also decided to pick up the packages that were here. Nothing too crazy today, just a lot of letters. So I'm gonna head home, open up the letters that I got, give Lance his letters, and then I have a few more things that I have to take care of, of adulting. I gotta order a new birth certificate because until I get my birth certificate, I can't even get a New Jersey's driver's license and that's stopping me from getting bank accounts. That's pretty much stopping me from doing everything right now, so. Boys gotta hurry up, get home, and get that ordered. So I come around the corner, and this is what I see. Theo, what are you doing on the desk, bro? What are you doing? That is not a spot for dogs. That is not a spot for dogs. Did he jump up here himself, or did you put him up here? You put him up here? Yeah. Wow. He just chills, he looks out the window, you know? Wow. Hey, uh, this is a dog on a desk, guys. Are you a dog on a desk? Oh. And then if you let him sit on your lap, that's a dog on your dick! Wow! Ew, are you doing- 
jerking off? Jeez. Ew, put it away! Dude. Put it away! That scared me. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? What does it look like? I'm jerking off! Can you? Wow, what are you doing? Your hair? Yeah. You testing out that like $20 axe gel? It's like nine bucks. It looks like lube. It's pomade. Ew, can I just like. <laughs> no! Wow. Wow. I think right now Ant and I are gonna end up playing a couple games of some regular Dude, I haven't played this shit in so long besides like the other day when we played. <laughs> no one but plays, I'm man. so trash now. Ever since I've been gaming on PC, like console gaming just does not work for me. You guys, Rachel put some new wax on the wax warmer. What is it? Black cherry or something? Is this it? It's like what is it though? Black cherry? Black cherry cheesecake or something. Oh, you can smell it through the entire house like it is so strong and it's really strong down here I don't know how you're breathing that in really not too sure where this vlog is starting but today is gonna be a fun day right now I'm over here waiting at my dad's work to be picking up my Jeep you guys really haven't been able to see my Jeep in the daylight yet so I guess I'll uh, I'll give you the little run around so as you can see we got a little front damage to the fender right here no big deal we're gonna try popping that out today also the hood the latches are a little gooked up so we just got to clean those up keep in mind guys this isn't supposed to be like a show jeep this is literally like a fucking woods beater like i'm gonna be beating the shit out of this thing in the woods off-roading doing that whole thing we got one of the flares that are missing right here that we have to put on realistically i don't even think we're gonna put the flares on i think we're just gonna cut it out and then fold the fenders so that way once i get my lift kit fully installed get my bigger tires and my bigger wheels that way i'll be able to flex out when we're on the trail and shit like that but overall i mean like this jeep is it's a good jeep i got a good deal on it and uh i'm definitely excited to get this thing out into the woods rear tires looking a little low on air got to put some air in that no big deal and then uh we should be good to go so today we're actually going to be bringing over my jeep to my dad's buddy's shop he said that we can bring it there and work on it all weekend have a ton of stuff to do to it hopefully by sunday we should be good to go have it ready pretty much to go out into the mud i know my new wheels for this are going to be here on tuesday mamba off-road wheels is hooking it up and i am extremely grateful for that so if you guys could do me a favor, head out and check them out on Instagram if you guys are into off-roading. They post tons of cool off-roading pictures, have some really sick off-roading wheels for Jeeps and everything. So head over, check them out. I'm going to put their at right here, or you could just click the link in the description. Pops just got out of work right now. We headed over to Walmart. I got to pick up a few things. One of them being work boots, since I can't even tell you the last time I actually owned a fucking pair of work boots. And then also jeans. You guys know I'm fat. I like to be comfy. I never really wear jeans, but I'm going to pick up some jeans and some work boots here a couple other miscellaneous items that we need it's been a long day so far but it hasn't been really productive just yet we ended up going to my dad's house just waiting until nick could get done and now we are over at the shop we picked up some parts today new oil filter thermostat some other like little valves new belt oil pan gasket and valve cover gasket we ended up getting as well so jeep's finally going to be getting some tlc today look he's just not a pretty face what? Yeah, definitely not a pretty face. What, working? Yeah, I said, like, oh, look, face? he's just not a pretty face. Well, and you looked up. I'm and... fucking focused. I'm trying to work right now. <laughs> About time. What you should be fucking doing as you're standing behind the camera. I'm letting the, dr the oil drain. Oh, yeah. I know, because you got to fucking sit here and do absolutely nothing else while the oil is draining. That's right. Well, cool. Let's just grab some spray paint. We'll paint this and we'll sit here and watch the fucking paint dry. How's that sound? That's tomorrow. No, <laughs> yeah. better yet, that's a Sunday paint drying day. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now we got dad in the front. He's working on doing the water pump. We got a new belt to put on here, new thermostat, new water pump. I don't know if you guys saw my dad was recording, but I was working on cleaning up the front bumper a little bit. Getting it all sanded down and shit so we could repaint it. Obviously, it's not the greatest looking front bumper, but it came with the Jeep. So we're going to paint it up, put it on there, put an LED bar on the top, and just get it looking a little bit pretty. It's, it's going to protect my headlights and everything, so we got it. Might as well use it. And now we still got this other rear. We're not going to use this right now but I do want to end up cleaning this up at one point. We had to take the back apart because the latch was all seized up for the hatch. So kind of just doing little shit here and there, nothing too crazy. You guys are probably wondering why the front tires are flat, but it's because yeah, because Nick had to be able to get up here and reach over to reach over into the engine bay. Uh, we also got a new valve cover gasket as well. So just a bunch of little shit that needs to be fixed overall though. Jeep's running good. It's been a long past couple of days in the shop getting some stuff done. Got the new thermostat put in once we got this put in thermostat ended up leaking antifreeze but we got that all figured out we got the new oil pan on 
new water pump, got new plugs, new wires, new steering stabilizer. There's just been so new valves for the valve cover, the PCV valves. We ended up having a macrame like a little fucking hose connector right here. Uh, this clamp actually needs to be tightened down too. What else? Right now we're doing the Addo leaf in the rear. So we already got this side pretty much done. And then we also ended up having a tranny line break in so we had to go through and end up fixing that. But everything is coming along. Definitely a project but we should be able to have the Jeep out of the shop by today. And then hopefully by next weekend be able to bring this bitch out into the woods. We might end up trying to bring it into the woods today but I don't have mud tires and I don't have my new wheels yet. But I really haven't been vlogging much this entire weekend just spending a lot of time working on the Jeep but my dad was literally just bitching saying go out to the car and get your camera and start vlogging like one of these things there are certain times where you just want to actually capture your memories not on camera where you could just actually enjoy being in the moment without having to take out the camera and dad's over here talking about these nuts when in reality he only has these nuts wrapping up another day at the shop long weekend at the shop everything is pretty much good we got the rear lift on and uh only reason why it's sagging so much is we got a rear end in here and a bunch of other fucking bullshit that needs to be taken out but other than that she's coming along really really well we still have quite a few more things that we need to do we need to work on with the jeep but it is a long weekend so right now we're gonna drop the jeep off at nick's house in case we need to come over here during the week and uh work on some of the other stuff that we have to get done so we just ended up coming over to nick's house to drop off my jeep i threw my camera and everything in my car because we were just gonna head right back there afterwards but we ended up getting a phone call from anthony who got stuck out in the fucking woods trying to go through some mud. So now dad and I got to go fucking pull him out. So that's what we're going to do right now. This is the current situation. Um, we're in the mud. Oh, Jesus Christ. Anthony's in the mud. He tried avoiding this fucking hole right here, but just ended up getting sucked right in. And this little Colorado, it ain't making it through these types of puddles. Hell no. Hell no. So we're going to hook him up. Get them towed out. It's Monday, and I know I have said this multiple times already, but it was an extremely long weekend. I'm glad we were able to get the Jeep up and running right now. Today, I have to order a few parts. I got to get some ball joints. I have to get a new cigar lighter relay because the relay that I had was clicking really bad, so we just ended up pulling it. Nothing too crazy. Like I was telling you guys, you know, the stuff that we're doing to this Jeep, nothing is like detrimental to the point where we're going to be spending just days and like thousands of dollars getting this thing up and running. It's just like little shit here and there to get it woods ready and uh, I'm excited. New wheels will be here tomorrow. Tire should be here this week and then this weekend we are bringing this bitch out into the mud. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog. It's Monday, we're back on that grind. Daily vlogs every single day. Rach and I were like brainstorming of ideas that we can do this week. We also wanna start, you know, grinding a little bit more, posting on Instagram. I feel like we've all kind of been slacking, just having like a lot of shit going on. So today is a new day. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button. I would really appreciate it. If you guys aren't subscribed yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button and then turn on my post notifications so you guys never miss a new video. Other than that, I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace. She just wanna go back to the future, so I brought that color DeLorean. 21 minutes until I got go, so I tell that girl I'm gonna slaughter it.